I remember 2016. I remember 2020. And here we are. It's 2024. 2016 was a major presidential year. It was a major election, obviously. Trump got elected. Historic election, no doubt. I remember driving through the roads and highways of Wisconsin back in 2016, looking at both sides and seeing signs, lawn signs, yard signs, all the political signs. I remember how many, not exactly like how many, but I remember like, you know, just from my observation, like, okay, are there more signs in favor of the Democrats? Are there more signs in favor of the Republicans? Are there more signs for Trump? Are there more signs for Hillary? I remember, you know, making those observations. And then of course, 2020. But 2020 was different because it was a COVID year. The whole world was different. 2020 was different. But now that we are in 2024, it is, it is from my observation that I can confidently tell you that there are way more Trump signs in front of people's homes, on big fields, on yards. There are more Trump signs versus the signs that the Democrats have put up for, for Harris Walls. Okay. I think the kind of enthusiasm so if you judge people's enthusiasm based on political signs that they put up the lawn signs and the yard signs the signs that you see as you're driving as you're walking as you're going anywhere if you judge people's enthusiasm based on the signs I will tell you there's far greater enthusiasm now in favor of Trump than there was in 2016. Somebody else may come to a different um, conclusion, but this is what I'm telling you from my observation. Yes, there was tremendous momentum in favor of Trump in 2016. There was a lot of resistance too, obviously. Even among some traditional conservatives we saw that there was some resistance because obviously there was a heated primary but eventually Trump won and even those who ran against him in the primary back in 2016 they 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 supported him afterwards they supported Trump so 2016 Trump had tremendous momentum in his favor which resulted in his victory but this time, the momentum is far, far greater than 2016. Trust me. This is, this is just unbelievable. I did not see these many Trump signs in, in 2016. There are far more Trump signs now. And not just signs for Trump, but also candidates down ballot, Senate candidates, House candidates, Republicans. Even in communities where we know that it's, it's heavily blue, people are putting up Trump signs in front of their houses. My friends, we are just days away, days away from November 5th. This is, you know, we're approaching the end of October here. And each day, support for Trump is growing. And the undecided voters, they are making up their minds. Wisconsin is a battleground state. A state where election outcomes are very difficult to predict. We have seen in the past, sometimes there's that big 
Trump 2024 sign. You can't see it on camera because it's pointed at me, but there it is. A big Trump 2024 sign. And then there's a sign for Eric Havdi, the Senate candidate. And there's another Trump sign. And there are many. There are many. So, as I was saying, the undecided voters are making up their minds. And in a, in a state like Wisconsin, as I was saying, the election outcomes are hard to predict in Wisconsin because sometimes we see that a Republican wins a statewide race, some, sometimes a Democrat wins a statewide race here in Wisconsin, and sometimes on the same ballot, in the same year, you can have both a Republican winner in a statewide race and a Democrat winner in a different statewide race the same year on the same ballot. You can, I mean, that has happened in 2022. In 2022, we won the U.S. Senate race. The Republicans won the U.S. Senate race in Wisconsin. The Democrats won the, the gubernatorial race on the same ballot, 2022. So election outcomes are very hard to predict, but I will make a prediction. I think Wisconsin overwhelmingly will vote for Trump. Trump is going to win here in Wisconsin like he did in 2016. It's going to happen. I can feel it. I can feel it in the air. And, and I can also draw this conclusion from the yard signs and the lawn signs and the field signs that I see in favor of Trump. So my friends, stay connected. On this channel, I'll share with you more facts, more figures, more analysis. I'll share with you my thoughts and opinions.